very honored to join you at this uh, evening's special dinner to celebrate three distinguished Nigerians who earlier today were conferred the prestigious National Order of Merit Award by His Excellency the President, President Muhammad Buhari. But here this evening, we are honored also by the company of some of the past National Merit Award laureates. And uh, if they are here, I'm, I think about three or four of them are here, they, they, they should just wave so that we can also give them a round of applause. Professor Augustine M. O. Esebwe, Esebwe is here. He is the 2006 award recipient in engineering and technology. Professor Oye Gureje, M. O. M. is the 2008 recipient of the award in medicine. And Professor Samuel Ohagbulam, who is the 2012 MNM Award recipient in medicine and is currently one of the board members of our governing board of the NNMA. I'm delighted to observe that since this award was instituted in 1979, we now have 79 distinguished Nigerians who are laureates of the Nigerian National Order of Merit. Well, this evening we celebrate the three latest laureates. Dr. Olayinka O. Olutoe, or Professor Olayinka Olutoe, who is honored for his unique contributions in the field of fetal surgery, and Professor Godwin Samuel Ekagore for pioneering new approaches in the branch of mathematical physics known as axiomatic quantum field theory. And, <laughs> and Professor Charles G.K. Chidume for his outstanding contributions in mathematics, physics, and engineering. Professor Chidume's award, as we, as we know, is posthumous, as he sadly passed on before the conferment. May his memory always be blessed. The contributions of our new laureates have had a real-world impact in their respective fields. Professor Chidume's work has generated practical applications in understanding how system thinking is used in project management, logistics, and modeling. It also addresses a wide range of problems in economics, in finance, in image reconstruction, in ecology, in transportation, in network el elasticity and optimization. Professor Lutoye is a fetal and pediatric surgeon who led a team of surgeons who in 2016 in a feat that has been hailed as the first of its kind, performed a surgical procedure on a fetus with a tumor that develops before birth and grows from a baby's tailbone. The procedure involved bringing the fetus out of the mother's womb, removing the tumor during a five-hour operation, and placing the fetus back in the mother's womb. And the mother then carried the baby to full term. His work on fetal anatomy, including the healing of wounds in fetuses, is broadening understanding of how we can address wounds even in adults. Professor Ekagwere's work has deepened understanding of the fundamental architecture of the universe and the fabric of reality itself. In addition to this, he has provided strong leadership for efforts to build research capacity in mathematical sciences in Nigeria. But these are probably just cursory simplifications of the significance of our awardee's achievements. What is indisputable is that each of them has broadened the horizons of knowledge in their respective fields of endeavor. But two things will stand out in these particular awards, and especially when we refer to these high achieving Nigerians. The first is, one, is that this is one of those occasions where we gather not to celebrate people on account of their power, status, or wealth, but on account of their real achievements, the achievements that make a difference in the lives of so many, not just here, but all around the world. And, and at, the heart, at the heart of the rationale for these awards is the idea that a nation perpetuates the sort of behavior that it rewards. 
promoting the growth of innovation, of diligence and productivity and related values requires that the practitioners and exemplars of such values are adequately rewarded and celebrated. This is what the Merit Awards are all about. They are all about celebrating what we want to attract to this nation, celebrating what we want to enthrone in this nation, which is excellence, innovation, and hard work. Second, in, second uh, is that in reflecting upon the glittering cast, cast of Nigerians that have received this award over the years, I've been struck by at least one thing, and that is the variety of the achievement, but also the diversity of the origins of those who, who, have, uh, who have earned these awards. The award selection process is entirely indifferent to whatever confessional persuasions, ethnic origins, or partisan allegiances of the recipients. It is sensitive only to the quality of their accomplishments. And often in our national discourse, we tend to just juxtapose the idea of merit with that of representation, as though they are mutually exclusive. And it is suggested that it is an inherently not, that there is an inherently natural disparity in geographical distribution of talent. But that's not so. What this distinguished array of laureates from all over the country uh, that have assembled over the years shows us is that the Nigerian genius for achievement can be found in every corner of our country, in literally every nook and cranny of our country. Two imperatives immediately spring forth from such a realization. The first is that we must ensure that we provide opportunities on a mass scale to enable all our citizens actualize their highest potential. And in this effort, we must pay more attention, in particular, to the education of girls, because this is the half of our population that has been neglected, especially with respect to education. In doing so, we will renew our pantheon of world-beating achievers in every generation and continually rediscover the human capital for perpetual national growth. Secondly, I'm reminded of one of the past order of merit uh, Order of Merit Laureates, Professor Chinua Achebe, who admonished us to always pick our first 11 for national tasks, our best 11. In his words, whenever merit is set aside by prejudice of whatever origin, individual citizens as well as the nation itself are victimized. If the pantheon of the Order of Merit reflects a representative meritocracy, is it not possible to apply the same standards in selecting those that we choose for leadership at all levels? Democ democracy grants us not just the right to freely choose our leaders, but the opportunity also to choose the best of us irrespective of sectional sec or sectarian considerations. So today's awardees and their predecessors represent the zenith of accomplishment. The exploits tell us that we are truly capable as a people of the greatest heights, and the greatest achievements of, in the fields of science, in the arts, and every other aspect of human endeavor. And that we could and that we would swear as, as, soar as high as we wish, so long as we do not subject ourselves to the gravitational pull of parochialism and prejudice. If we are truly to make this standards that we've seen today, the accomplishments uh, that we've seen today, mainstream in our, in, the, in our society and in the way that we define our national traits, then we must apply the same principles that informed their selection in recruiting those who will represent this nation in every endeavor, whether it is in sports or in public service. Let me once again congratulate all the laureates of the NNMA and their families, and the chairman and members of the board of the NNMA, and indeed all their associates, uh, and to also say that just as the uh, chairman of the board has warned, that we are not supposed to make long speeches today. We, are, we have dinner, so we have to get to the uh, meat of the matter, if you'll pardon the pun, as quickly as possible. 
for congratulations uh, to all our laureates. Congratulations to all members of the family. And I wish you safe travels when you return home. Thank you.